In historical linguistics, Italo-Celtic is a grouping of the Italic and Celtic branches of the Indo-European language family on the basis of features shared by these two branches and no others. There is controversy about the causes of these similarities. They are usually considered to be innovations, likely to have developed after the breakup of the Proto-Indo-European language. It is also possible that some of these are not innovations, but shared conservative features, i.e. original Indo-European language features which have disappeared in all other language groups. What is commonly accepted is that the shared features may usefully be thought of as Italo-Celtic forms. Topic. Interpretations The traditional interpretation of the data is that these two subgroups of the Indo-European language family are generally more closely related to each other than to the other Indo-European languages. This could imply that they are descended from a common ancestor, a Proto-Italo-Celtic which can be partly reconstructed by the comparative method. Those scholars who believe Proto-Italo-Celtic was an identifiable historical language estimate that it was spoken in the 3rd or 2nd millennium BC somewhere in south-central Europe. This hypothesis fell out of favor after being re-examined by Calvert Watkins in 1966. Nevertheless, some scholars, such as Frederick Cortland, continued to be interested in the theory. In 2002 a paper by Ring, Warnow, and Taylor, employing computational methods as a supplement to the traditional linguistic subgrouping methodology, argued in favor of an Italo-Celtic subgroup, and in 2007 Cortland attempted a reconstruction of a Proto-Italo-Celtic. The most common alternative interpretation is that the close proximity of Proto-Celtic and Proto-Italic over a long period could have encouraged the parallel development of what were already quite separate languages, aerial features within a sprachbund. As Watkins 1966 puts it, "...the community of I in Italic and Celtic is attributable to early contact, rather than to an original unity." The assumed period of language contact could then be later, perhaps continuing well into the first millennium BC. However, if some of the forms are archaic elements of Proto-Indo-European that were lost in other branches, neither model of post-Pi relationship need be postulated. Italic and especially Celtic also share some distinctive features with the Hittite language and Anatolian language and the Tocharian languages, and these features are certainly archaisms. <laughs> Forms The principal Italo-Celtic forms are The thematic genitive in I Dominus, Domini both in Italic Popliosio Valesiosio, Lapis Satricanus and in Celtic Lepontic Oiso, Celtiberian O, traces of the osseo genitive of Proto-Indo-European have also been discovered, which might indicate that the spread of the I genitive occurred in the two groups independently or by aerial diffusion. The I genitive has been compared to the so-called CVI formation in Sanskrit, but that too is probably a comparatively late development. The phenomenon is probably related to the feminine long I stems and the Luwian I mutation. The formation of superlatives with reflexes of the pi suffix asterisk ism, mo Latin fortis, fortissimus, strong, strongest, Old Irish sen, sinum, old, oldest, oscan mais, mamas, more, most, where branches outside Italic and Celtic derive superlatives with reflexes of pi asterisk isto instead Sanskrit, urus, veristhes broad, broadest, ancient Greek, kalos kalistus, beautiful, fairest, old Norse rower, rawaster, red, reddest, as well as, of course, English, est, the a subjunctive. Both Italic and Celtic have a subjunctive descended from an earlier optative in a. Such an optative is not known from other languages, but the suffix occurs in Balto-Slavic and Tocharian past tense formations, and possibly in Hittite a. The collapsing of the pi aorist and perfect into a single past tense. In both groups, this is a relatively late development of the proto languages, possibly dating to the time of Italo Celtic language contact. The assimilation of asterisk p to a following asterisk k. This development obviously predates the Celtic loss of asterisk p. Pi asterisk penk e 5 Latin quinque, Old Irish coic. Pi asterisk perk u oak Latin quercus, goidelic ethnonym querni, in northwest Hispania Kirkerni. 
Pi asterisk pec cook Latin cocere, Welsh pobi Welsh p presupposes proto Celtic asterisk k. Other similarities include the fact that certain common words, such as the words for common metals gold, silver, tin, etc., are similar in Italic and Celtic yet divergent from other Indo European languages, e.g., Latin argentum silver", versus Irish ergid, derived from proto Celtic argentum. A number of other similarities continue to be pointed out and debated. The R passive medio passive voice was initially thought to be an innovation restricted to Italo-Celtic until it was found to be a retained archaism shared with Hittite, Tocharian, and possibly the Phrygian language. Topic References. Topic Further reading. J. Jasanoff. An Italo-Celtic isogloss, the three-place mediopassive in asterisk ntro. In D. Q. Adams, ed. Festschrift for Eric P. Hamp. Volume 1 equals Journal of Indo-European Studies, Monograph 23, Washington, D.C., 1997, 146 to 161. Winfred P. Lehman, Frozen Residues and Relative Dating. In Varia on the Indo-European Past, Papers in Memory of Maria Gimbutas, eds. Miriam Robbins Dexter and Edgar C. Polame. Washington, D.C., Institute for the Study of Man, 1997. pp. 223-46 Winfred P. Lehman. Early Celtic among the Indo-European Dialects. In Zeitschrift für Celtische Philologie 49 to 50, issue 1, 1997, 440 to 54. Schmidt, Karl Horst, Contributions from New Data to the Reconstruction of the Proto Language. In Polame, Edgar, Winter, Werner, eds. 1992. Reconstructing Languages and Cultures, First Ed. Berlin, New York: Mouton de Gruyter. pp. 35 to 62. ISBN 3-11-012671-0. OCLC 25,009,339. Shriver, Peter Pruners and Trainers of the Celtic Family Tree, The Rise and Development of Celtic in Light of Language Contact. Proceedings of the 14 International Congress of Celtic Studies, Maynooth 2011. Dublin, Dublin Institute for Advanced Studies pp. 191 to 219